Hi Graspers, today I will tell you some truly warming news from across the globe. For the first time in 135 years, the United States got more energy from renewable resources that is environmentally friendly sources such as wind and water energy than it did from polluting coal. Traditionally, coal is burnt to help generate electricity to power everything from homes to offices to factories. The burning of coal releases harmful gases in the air that pollutes the planet and causes global warming. The US has shown an excellent initiative and we hope that every country in the world shifts to clean energy. Such a large change in a country where coal is widely used can be the mark of the beginning of the end of polluting fuels. Across the world, public transport is experiencing falling demand because nobody wants to travel close to each other. Thus, bicycle sales across the world have exploded. Bike stores are struggling to keep up with the demand, while cities are working hard to create new places to cycle. Sales of adult bikes in the United States have tripled compared to April of the previous year. In fact, bike stores around the world are running out of cycles. This upsurge in demand for bicycles, people hope to a trend towards a healthier future. Due to global warming, the Presina glaciers in northern Italy tend to start melting and have lost more than one third of its volume since 1993. To minimize this, as soon as the ski season is over and the cable cars are burnt, conservationists race to cover over 100,000 square meters of the glacier using white geotextile tarpaulin sheets that block the sun's rays and help maintain a lower temperature, preserving as much as snow as possible. This six-week process is repeated every year once the ski season is over and summer begins in full force. Diego, a giant tortoise, recognized for saving his species from extinction, has finally retired to an uninhabited island off the coast of Ecuador. For decades, Diego was a part of a breeding program to save their species and increase the number of tortoises on Earth. 15 tortoises from Espanola, including Diego, are going home and their island receives them with open arms. That's indeed heartwarming news. A recent experiment revealed that hummingbirds can see colors that a human eye cannot. This is due to the addition of an extra cone in hummingbirds' eyes, aiding to discriminate ultraviolet wavelengths. Humans have three kinds of color-sensitive cone cells in our eyes. Birds have four types of cone cells that help them to process the differences between different kinds of colors. Interesting, isn't it? Hmm.